The next scent is Truly Me American Girl. It's by Bath and Body Works. I don't know if you will be able to see this. Um, yeah, it looks like this. It's a star. It's a... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Um, it's, n it's a nice smell. Um, I think this is aimed for little kids, or younger kids, because American Girl, but it's very a grown-up scent for kids. So I don't know if I would recommend that for your kid. They might smell like a grandma. Next, it's... Electrify Me from Avon. Um, my mom got this for me. Kind of smells like sweet tarts. I'm not sure if I love it or not. I don't really wear it. It's kind of in the back of my perfume closet. <sighs> Next is Okay For You Too. It's a knockoff for CK Into You or something like that. I don't know if I like it or not. I go through phases of liking it and not liking it. I don't really wear it though. But uh, this is it. Next I have the famous Pink Sugar. I used to love this one a lot, but... Now it just is like a sicky sweet that I, um, I don't really wear it that often because it, it hurts my stomach. Um, next after this is Hollister Malia. Oh my god, this one is like my favorite ever. I have like the tiniest little bit left and I'm saving it for a special occasion because I really love it. It smells amazing. I need, oh my god. Mm. I could smell it all day long. Um, I really need to get a new one. I want the one that has the little puff thing on it. Anyways, this is what it looks like. Comes in a box like this. Alright, next we'll do this one. Um, Sarah Jessica Parker NYC. It looks like this. I wanted this for a really long time and then it was on super sale at Target. So I was like, oh my god, it's my time. This is a really nice, sweet, fruity scent, and I have this pomegranate lemon lotion that I wear with it. Um, it's from Bath & Body Works, and I, it smells so good together. It's like, mm, delicious. Um, next is this one, Kira. It's uh, from Pet Sun. It's a pretty cute bottle. I just It's my most recent perfume. Um, I think it's a pretty close knockoff to, um, the Miss Dior Sherry, which is also one of my very favorites, and, um, I don't know, I kind of want to savor my Miss Dior Sherry because it's kind of expensive, so I got this to wear on other days that I want to savor this, I guess. But this one is... Oh, I guess they kind of look like... Dang it. I usually, usually keep mine in the box, but this is what it looks like. So I don't... I have like... half or a little less left. But this is one of my very favorites. Oh my god. <sighs> smells amazing. It smells freaking amazing. Alright, moving on. This is the Warm Vanilla Sugar Body Spray, or not body spray, perfume. Looks like this. Um, refer back to where I talked about the body spray to uh, get the details. Um, next, I have the Charlotte Russe perfume. I love this smell. It's so good. This was like ten fifty. Not even joking. Look how big the bottle is. Totally worth it. I think that Kira one was six dollars on sale at Paxson, so that's really good too. Moving along. Now I really wanted this one um, before I smelled it, and now that I smelled it, I don't know how I feel about it. It's the Edouard 
um, Soap and Glory Perfume Spray Formula Number no. 2. When they used to sell um, Soap and Glory at Target, this is where I got it from. Um, okay, it says, with top notes of citrus, bergamot, mandarin, jasmine, and freesia on a mix of musk, sandalwood, vanilla, and amber. I guess that's pretty true to the scent. It, it's really cute. Look at it. I mean, how could you get rid of that? It's so cute. Um, this is what the bottle looks like. I have pretty fancy bottles. I never really realized it. This is more of a fall wintery smell, I think. Probably fall time. More so. Next is Hollister Rider. This is a very floral scent. I didn't used to like it, but now it's not so bad. It just looks like this. I don't think they sell this anymore. But it's a nice floral scent. Very floral. Not much for a floral scents, but this one isn't too bad. A great summer scent it is. Moving along, I have Flirt, Flirt, Flirt Flirtatious. An intoxicating blend of exotic wild berry, enchanting honeysuckle, and creamy vanilla. So tempting, so luscious, so flirtatious. Anyways, this is what it looks like. Oh, I have a lot less than I thought. But I've had this since high school, and I wore this to my junior prom. So this is what the scent reminds me of, junior prom. I went to two junior proms, and I got um, the other one that's like this. <clears throat> and I wore it on my second one. It's the Flirt Glamorazzi. A sparkling blend of exotic flowers, spicy ginger, and seductive vanilla. Get ready to glam it up and totally steal the spotlight. It's more of a going out scent, for sure. It's, um, sweet but vanilla -y. I'd say this, the scent description is pretty accurate. Um... Next, almost done here. Next is whatever this is by Mark. It's a great summer scent for like for like the beach. I really like it. I think I got this last year or the year before for my birthday. Next we have, these last two scents are kind of similar but I like them both. The Roxy Perfume. Looks like this. I think I like the Roxy one more than I like the, the next one. But it smells really good. I don't know how to describe it. If you want to know more, check it out yourself. Last but not least... Oh, wait. Wait a second, I'm missing one. Okay, there's one more after this. The one that's similar to uh, the Roxy one is Nolly. It's from Sun as well. Just looks like this. It's more, um, more flowery sweet than the other one, than the Roxy one, but very similar indeed. And my last perfume is Hollister SoCal. My very first boyfriend got this for me. Although I like it, um, if you wear too much of it, it kind of makes you smell a little dirty, if you get what I'm saying. So, um, I don't really wear it that often. I don't know how I feel about it. But he got me this huge thing, so what am I supposed to do? Throw it away? I don't think so. Anyways, um, that was my...